schools, a few things are banned from school and your lunch. To make it sound reasonable, then you read the first paragraph. All lunches are banned from parents, period. Period. Bananas, you name it, all of it. Wheat bread, everything. We'll make it simple. The school knows best. They actually say that. Just like this deceptive headline. Supreme Court rules against exonerated death row inmate who sued prosecutors. And then you read deeper into this. It says they knowingly put him in prison, knowing he was completely guilty, and basically knowing uh, who the real suspects were. And then they continue to try to suppress that information while he was on death row. It turns out about a third of the people on death row are completely innocent. But they don't care. And they say conservative justices prevailed and are allowing the district attorney's office to have no liability. And to overturn the $14 million award for wrongful conviction, a man who spent 14 years on death row and successfully sued the New Orleans prosecutors. It's like Glenn Beck a few months ago saying, now Google is working with George Soros in the UN, and they are overthrowing things, and they are with the CIA and, and, and NSA, but I'm not with the liberals who think that the government is spying on you without warrants or that Google is. I'm a conservative. So he's saying if you're a conservative, you like being spied on. If you're a conservative, you don't like justice in due process. It's the same thing here. Why the conservative justices, see, they kill one side of the Bill of Rights, and the liberals, they kill the Second Amendment and property rights and, th and, and, and things like that. So one group, you know, they, we'll, we'll get rid of these rights and you get rid of those. What's the old saying? Guys, pull up the uh, nursery rhyme. Uh, he could eat no fat, she could eat no lean. So between them, they lick the platter clean. I, I want to get the exact nursery rhyme so I get their names right. But, but see, the Democrats eat all the fat and the Republicans eat all the meat. And between the two of them, they lick the platter clean. And they're all hypocrites. They all love war. They all love invasion and death and police state. And we're going to decide what type of food you can eat. We're going to take the salt out of your diet. There it is. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. So between them both, you see, they lick the platter clean. Origins, the name Jack Spratt was used of people of small stature in the 16th century. The little people, the poor people who didn't get as good a diet. This rhyme was an English proverb from at least the mid-17th century, appearing in John Clark's collection of sayings in 1639 in the form of Jack will eat no fat and Joel doth love no lean, yet betwixt them both they lick the dishes clean. The saying entered the canon of English nursery rhymes when it was printed in Mother Goose's Melody around 1765, but it may have been adopted for use with children much earlier. In popular culture, I think that's enough. The point is, between the Republicans and Democrats, both sides play the, play the liberty people on one issue, but then always compromise and sell it out while attacking it on the other. So, to make a long story short... I've seen the Dallas Crime Lab, the Houston Crime Lab, the Tulia Crime Lab, the San Antonio Crime Lab, just where I live in Texas growing up. What it came out four or five years ago that uh, tens of thousands of innocent people were sent to prison in Texas and that uh, just in Houston and that they knew they were all totally innocent and they would just ask prosecutors, you want them to be guilty? OK, we found their blood. <laughs> That's it. And they'd hold up a little red read a slide to the jury. This is his blood. He did it. The jury's like, we get off on licking boots of government. You're going to prison, boy. Kind of like that federal jury with uh, Bernard von Nuthaus. 13 years coining his own silver, speaking out against the Federal Reserve as, to be technical, there's more than 14 major private mints, thousands of different coin dealers who make their own coins, to be technical. So totally legal, totally lawful, always has been. Even the Wall Street Journal had to admit that. Even the Associated Press was shocked because it wasn't illegal. doesn't matter. They found a jury that he's going to 15 years in prison. Just like they're arresting people all over the country uh, that uh, try to use. Uh, now I'm seeing reports of the silver dollars put out in the 60s. I remember being a kid and pulling through McDonald's with my dad and him paying for stuff with, you know, the uh, silver dollars. Oh, no, people, uh, you try to pay with a $2 bill. Arrested. You're like, but officer, it's money. No, it's not. And once they put you in the squad car, it's over. They've got juries that will that would send a baby to the gas chamber if they were told to. 
I mean, they don't care. It's pure evil. Ladies and gentlemen, I've told you the stories. Uh, I was somebody growing up who was not involved in any crime, nothing. Only thing I've ever stolen was a candy bar when I was like three. My mom caught me in the car. I didn't even know I was stealing. I just picked it up, made me bring it back and apologize. And then a few times we grabbed beer out of golf carts at the country club. Because, you know, the golfers will be completely drunk with huge ice chests of alcohol. And we go to the country club sometimes when... Just like Spalding in um, Caddyshack when he's going down the side of the bar grabbing the half-drunk drinks. You know, you're 13 years old. You like beer. Yeah, okay, I I've done that. Cop calls me in because I was talking about the police dealing drugs. And he said, Alex, you talk about government drug dealing or police drug dealing anymore. We're going to take you and hang in your cell. That well, that was when I got arrested one time. I'm compositing the different stories together. Another time, slammed my head in the table. You know, took me in the principal's office, kicked the principal out. And said, uh, black people are going to rape you and give you AIDS or going to prison. We know you're stealing stereo equipment. And I said, I don't steal. He goes, Alex, listen, you little bleeper. I know you didn't steal it. What I'm saying is, is I'm going to put you in jail and blacks are going to rape you. That's who runs America. Drug dealing, narcotic scum, filth. Criminals run everything. And now the prosecutors have been told, frame everybody. Party time. Down with America. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. The earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear disaster that killed thousands of Japanese citizens is nothing compared to the devastation that could be caused by hyperinflation that will soon hit the United States and could lead to millions of Americans becoming homeless, all caused by the devalued U.S. dollar. While the mainstream media continues to ignore inflation, our friends at the National Inflation Association provide a free weekly newsletter that educates Americans of the facts and truth about the U.S. economy and inflation. I urge you to sign up at the NIA's free newsletter at www.inflation.us to learn how you can not only survive, but prosper during the upcoming hyperinflation crisis. Silver has more than doubled since the NIA declared silver the best investment for the next decade on inflation.us. The NIA's team of expert economists are happy to answer any economic questions you have about inflation, debt, currencies, real estate, precious metals, and commodities. Visit inflation.us to learn the economic truth that the mainstream media ignores. We all know that Berkey water purification systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey water filtration systems. The Berkey light systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, Bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $220. And the Berkey Guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Do you want to learn more about preparing for the hard times ahead? Have you ever thought about actually getting off the grid and becoming truly self-reliant? Introducing Off the Grid News, a weekly newsletter for independent Americans who want practical advice on how to survive and even prosper in an increasingly dangerous world. It's the best way to get a black belt in emergency preparedness, survival skills, and off-the-grid living. Packed with hard-hitting information on gardening, food preparation, alternative energy, and home security, there's simply nothing like it. And the best part? This $100 annual subscription is now free of charge. Simply sign up today and you'll also get our hard-hitting report, Food Shock, why 2011 could be the single most important year in American history to plant a family garden. It's absolutely free for listeners who sign up at offthegridnews.net. That's offthegridnews.net. Get your free Food Shock right now at offthegridnews.net. All over the country, police forces are being quietly federalized. Threat fusion centers are being put in. Most major police departments are as corrupt as it gets and frame people in mass while allowing the illegal aliens to go free. Uh, that's on record in 800 plus sanctuary cities. There is no justice in this country. And now they're coming after our free speech. There is no private property as they raise the property taxes all over the country. You don't really own your land. 
And we need to realize that this is the way every major society goes. But to have the Supreme Court rule that, uh, yeah, prosecutors are allowed to withhold evidence that you're innocent and basically frame you. That's the Washington Post or CNN. High Court says exonerated inmate cannot sue prosecutors. And then you read deeper, even though they knowingly knew he was innocent and had the evidence. And you're not allowed in Chicago schools, many of them, to pack your own lunch. Your, your parents aren't allowed to either. See, that's freedom, ladies and gentlemen. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. And honey, we ain't got any anything if we don't have freedom, if we're not free. It's really that simple. All right, this is what I'll do. I'll start the next hour and go to about 20 minutes of calls because I want to get to everybody. And then I'll uh, get into the radiation situation. The government says, don't worry. Uh, we're raising the levels uh, to thousands of times uh, safe levels. Um, so don't worry, that that problem's handled. Uh, I'll get into this more with Tarpley as well. But Aaron Dykes has this article he wrote Saturday, Soros, dollar no longer reserve currency. And uh, here is the clip from Bloomberg uh, that is the basis of his uh, article where at the Bretton Woods 2 this weekend, he told Bloomberg, who was fully ensconced there with continued coverage of how great the bankers are and how thankful we should be to them uh, for wrecking everything by design. And Soros uh, went on to say the big question is whether the U.S. dollar should be the reserve currency. It no longer is. It shares that role with the euro, other currencies and commodities. But it's not just gold being used as a substitute which it is, but oil too, which is putting upward pressure on the market. Let's go ahead and play George Soros. You're like that now, and if so, if so which economy? Is it still the United States? Well, uh, there's a big question whether the U.S. Uh, uh, dollar should be uh, the main uh, reserve currency. And in fact, it no longer is, uh, because uh, it maybe accounts for two-thirds of the monetary reserves. But uh, uh, the euro uh, is, a, is an alternative, and uh, there's a lot of diversification into other currencies and even more into commodities, uh, not, not only gold, but actually uh, oil. Oil is now a, 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 an asset class uh, for investors, uh, and that has put some upward pressure on uh, on, on, on the commodities. All right, uh, there's Dr. Evil for you. Uh, he'll be very happy when he makes his way into Hades. He'll fit in nicely there with all the other parasites of history. Uh, now, the bigger issue that came out of this, again, listening to Bloomberg, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday... You know, they have audio Bloomberg TV with all these snakes making a parade through. I was uh, spent hours a day listening. They were very happy and very pleased with the economists they had on and many others. I heard no one that wasn't happy. They've all decided and they said U.S. policymakers are quietly agreeing like Geithner did two years ago in China. That yes, they are looking at getting rid of the dollar as the world reserve currency and that they agree at the meeting that needs to happen. So there's your big news. In fact, we should have another headline. Problem is I have to ferret out all those quotes, but I know I've got them here in my stack uh, where they're saying, oh, yes, uh, the policymakers agreed at the meeting and the private banks that uh, we should uh, move away. Uh, and so you have these meetings of the bankers that give the orders to the government bureaucrats that are the former CEOs of those companies or directors. Kind of like the SPP meeting uh on North American Union, it was over 100 CEOs there on record giving the three government leaders, Mexico, Canada, and the U.S., their orders, and they were saying yes, sir, to them. Yes, sir, Mr. Soros. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Over the last year, Alex has told you about and many of you have experienced emergencies and disasters in unprecedented numbers. People have had to literally run for their lives. Folks, this is Steve Shank with eFoods Direct. I'm not here to scare you, but when disaster strikes, you won't have time to think. You must act automatically. What does a pilot do when the helicopter engine fails in flight? No time to think, just act automatically. When the alert is broadcast, the alarm sounds, or the knock comes on your door, you'll need to be ready to act without thinking of what to do or what you need. You need a five-day extreme emergency kit. With serious supplies and real food to secure two adults for five days, this powerful $300 extreme emergency kit is free with an order of at least $995 from eFoods Direct. Go to eFoods.